Toastmasters and welcome guests. Brian, I'm sorry that wasn't speech number 10 or your 10th speech. I would have said it was the best 10th speech I have ever heard. Mm -hmm. It was, to me, the whole purpose was to be inspirational. To start off with what I really liked about it, to me it seemed to be a mixture of humor on one hand mixed with words of wisdom. You had the humor where I'm smooth and cool. <laughs> and what makes it funny is we know you. You wouldn't normally say that. <laughs> not that you're not smooth. Uh, anyway. Why not? <laughs> and then the reference to us thinking of our cute babies. I mean, that, that broke me up. I mean, 15 years old, we're thinking about our cute babies. Okay. And then there's the, uh, the Walmart here in the express lane with just one guy, one item, a Ziploc bag full of money, and then there's 25, 35, 36. <laughs> and, and no loonies and toonies in sight. So with that, you also had words of wisdom. I get to walk away. Worst was my saying no. And that's what caused the problem at Walmart. You, you took it as, as a problem as opposed to, hey, this is an experience and make the best of it. All I can do is say yes to cancer. That was the comment from Wendy. In the end, you said, life will not always go your way. Go with the flow, say yes, which I thought was the whole gist of the speech really wrapped up right there. And then you did what you got to do in an inspirational speech. There was the call for action. I'm lo I love saying yes. I know you will too, which I thought was really a great ending. <laughs> what made this such a good inspirational speech was to start off with, you can't beat personal stories. Stories are great for inspiration. But you had three personal stories, the story of Anne, the Walmart story, and the Wendy story, all personal stories. You had strong visuals, one item, a Ziploc bag full of money, dumped on the counter. I just, you just see it right there. You're standing there and all of a sudden there's all this change. It was very easy to follow. You, you, not only that, you had the body language to support it. And I thought, you know, you did the, the cool thing. And also, as you're telling your stories, I thought for each story, you moved. And so there's three stories and there's three movements, which I thought was really good. How can you improve on this? Well, I believe you're going to be doing this in Florida. So what you have to do is you have to Americanize it, get rid of uh, <laughs> the loonies and the toonies and no bennies because they have bennies. Get it down to five to seven minutes. Keep the three stories, but I thought you had a bit of hamburger helper in there. <laughs> like the beginning, uh, the opening has to be worked on. The opening, I thought you should have got the audience involved. I love saying yes. Do you? Or, don't, or do you say yes at all? You know, get something to get them involved. 